In my video two weeks ago, I promised to talk about colors and color consistency with my new strobe. So let's go. Hey everyone, Stefan here. I hope you're doing well. So let's talk about that thing, that color thing. Every single light that you use will produce colors slightly differently. Some lights are better at it, some lights not so good at it, especially for video and for photography. Well, there's big, big differences, but how do we know? Well, we can go by the measurements and the advertising that the companies show us. There are certain values that we can look at, percentages, but how accurate are there actually? Now, last week and the week before, I talked about my brand new lights that I'm using here in my studio, which are the Godox 1200s, and they have two settings. One that is all about speed, freezing the action. I talked about that the last two weeks. But they also have a color mode, which means that they produce colors more accurately across the entire board. But how do we know? Now, those CRI values, Coloring Rendering Index, I trust this thing, the Seconic C800. This is a color meter. So I can see exactly what those lights are, lights are producing. So I'm not just going by marketing material, but also by real world tests. Now, when you look at those values, CRI values on brochures, they always show it in percentage. The problem is most of those are measuring only the first eight colors. But if you only look at those eight, for me as a people photographer, the most important R9 is out of the range. So I measure my lights. As you can see, the color consistency in terms of white balance setting in the camera is really solid. At the same time, let's have a look at the CRI. And I can see even in R9, which is the red tones, we have a very good reading. So that to me means that these lights can be brilliant for me to freeze the action and I will switch it then to speed mode. And then I use a color chart to make sure that no matter what settings I have, I then have accurate colors. I shoot in RAW, so I can easily change that afterwards in Capture One. Or if you want, use Lightroom, whatever does it for you. And that's really all there is to it. So let's jump into a photo shoot. We have some models here, yay. And let's produce some awesome pictures. I hope you enjoy. There you go. I hope you enjoyed the outcome. That's it for this week. I see you next week, hopefully. And until then, go out and create something awesome.